just sucking the blood out of your bill. If your power bill's killing you, it's time to bite back. Vampire power is literally sucking energy out of your home. Synergy's Alan Gerber reckons our homes are full of appliances on standby, bleeding us dry. Vampire power is standby power. Energy in the home really is designed to do a job, and when it's on standby, it's doing nothing. And that costs Australians $1.1 billion a year. Power is probably one of our more expensive things that we pay for, so yeah, anything we can do to save money would be great. Mum of four, Rachel Bolton, doesn't want to be a sucker for vampire power. It would be brilliant if we could um, work out ways to cut down any cost. So we sent in the vampire hunter. Three locations in Rachel's home, brimming with energy sucking monsters. First up, the kitchen. Amazingly, we use up to 18% of our energy per annum in the kitchen. And the fridge is, is probably the best place to start. You really want your fridge set at about three to five degrees and you want these seals nice and tight. What about this trick? A great tip is just to stick a $5 note in the seal and if it stays there, you have a good seal. Next, the laundry. I know that you've got young kids, but wherever possible, try and get it onto a cold wash. Okay. Um, $160 a year you can save on a cold wash. And if you're looking to upgrade... Front loader can save up to 50% um, of energy relative to a top loader. Al also recommends laying off the dryer. I know that it's practical over winter, um, but you can save up to $75. You may think vampires don't like the light. <laughs> You'd be wrong. They love nothing more than fun in the sun. It's a really good idea in the winter time, if you can, just to turn down your pool pump by two hours. Pools can be a significant um, energy cost, and by doing that, you can actually save up to $145 a year. Do pay attention though to your, your user guide or your manual for your swimming pool because you want that to be a, a healthy place. More bad news from the backyard. This is where our second fridge is. Unfortunately, the cost of those cold beers could be more like the price of champagne. You'd be surprised that a second fridge like this could cost you $230 a year. I didn't realise that that cost us so much money. Everyone's castle is unique but Al reckons most families can kill big bills. Hundreds of dollars can be saved by just doing some practical uh, changes around the house. Unplug. When something's not in use, switch it off. Switch off. Amazingly, 26% of us do leave lights on in homes. Choose efficient devices. If you are still using some of those old filament style bulbs, change them out. Make new habits, it all adds up. It matters. Each time you do something, it does matter and it does make a difference ultimately to your bottom line. You know, it's really easy to walk out of a room and forget to flick the light off. So it's just reminding yourself or training yourself that that's what you need to do. I don't think it's hard to train my kids to do that either. They're old enough. Rach reckons a few changes will save hundreds. For a single income family with four kids, that will make a massive difference. Vampire power suckers, gone. No garlic required. You can make a big difference on your hip pocket.